two ways of making variants in Bluestone PIM. First one is to use the new product and choose variant group as a type and then link in all your variants afterwards. Or easiest is to actually find all the different variants that you want to mark together and then make a new variant group. You write in your name and a number. And on this page, you will also see all the attributes that are on the, uh, the variants and you can see if they are common and you can choose that you want to propagate them on all the variants and you can also choose if these attributes are the ones that are variant defining. So when you've written everything, you click on um, create and your new variant group product is made. And you can see that by seeing the product type is group. And you can see the attributes that you added. You can see the propagation. The, uh, if you want to have it as a required field, you can also lock the value on the attribute. And you can then set if the, um, the attribute is the variant defining. And that's the attributes that are defining the different variants. So this is a t-shirt and then the variant group um, defining is the size and the color. So that's, that's what's different on the, um, the variants. Uh, this uh, variant group is just a, a regular product. You can add it to categories. You can have it um, connections. You can add media, tasks. You can, of course, hit history and you can translate it. But you have a new tab, which is variants. And you click on this one, you will see a list of different variants that are uh, linked to this group. You can click on, the, um, on it. And then you can see what type of attributes are on or write attributes on this, um, this product. You will see VLA, which is a variant level attribute. So you can see that this attribute is uh, inherited from the, um, from the group level. You can, of course, unlink it. Or if you go back to the, um, to the variant group and you click on the variant uh, tab, you can have different options here as well. You can choose to see all the variants in the grid, which is the first option. You can choose to add a new variant. So then you add a new variant from the existing products that you have. You can also decide to make this variant a copy. So if you, if you are missing variants, you can actually make a copy and add it directly and then go in and change it. So there you will see the copy. Off. And that's how you work with the uh, variants in the Blue Stone Pip.